I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We'll consider rotation about origin with the help of an example. The question here is, find the image of line segment AB having coordinates A minus 2, 4 and B 6, 2 after a rotation of minus 150 degrees about the origin. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's try to understand the situation given to us. Right? So, so let me just sketch the scenario here. So we have a point AB which is uh, A coordinate is minus 2, 4. So let's say minus 2, 4 is somewhere there. And then B coordinate is 6, 2 coordinate 1. So it's like kind of like this, right? So let's say that is the position of our segment AB. So let me write down A as minus 2, 4 and B as 6, 2. When we say that there is a rotation of uh, 150 degrees, it really means what? Now this rotation is about origin. So we'll just connect the point B and then rotate it 150 degrees. It is minus 150. That means we'll go clockwise, right? So 150 is 30 less. So let's say it will come to this position, right? So that will be B dash. So this rotation here is minus 150. So we get our point, which is which is B dash. We need to find coordinates of this point. Similarly, we need to rotate the point B also, A also. So A connected with the with the center and when you rotate this then it will be 150 will be kind of this place right so we'll get a segment a dash b dash here right so the segment will be more or less like this so that is the position which we need to figure out the coordinates of point a dash and b dash right so i hope you understand the concept now how do we do it using trigonometry so I do have a video on this, but instead of sending you there, let me do some small calculations here to explain you the concept once again. So let us say that we have a point P somewhere in, we'll take it in coordinate one, at an angle of let's say alpha. So that's our point P with coordinates X and Y. And if we rotate this point by an angle theta about the origin O, then the final position of this could be kind of like this, right? So let's say we have rotated and we get to this point. And this point is P dash. How do we find the coordinates of P dash, which are going to be, let us say, X dash and Y dash? So, so the two problems are exactly the same, except for we'll be working with two points with a given angle, and here we'll have a general solution, correct? So I'll give you the general solution, and then we'll plug in the values and find the exact solution for the question given to us, correct? So the concept here is that if you're looking at any point x, then the x value is always cos of alpha, right, times the the length, right? So the x value really represents the r times, if this is r, right, a square plus b square. Then x cos alpha r times will give you the position vector here, right? So that is that is what the, the effect is, correct? So, so what we get here is that if r is here, then in that case, what we get here is that cos of alpha is basically equals to r times, I mean, sorry, uh, the x coordinate, x is equals to r of cos alpha, and the y coordinate is r of sin alpha, right? Where r is the length from O to P. Now, the length r remains same. So for P dash, what could be X dash? That is what we need to figure out. So for P dash, the, the X coordinate will be uh, R of cos of alpha plus theta, right? So, so uh, R of cos of alpha plus theta. 
So that basically we are trying to figure out the, uh, the uh, I should write the x coordinate of p dash, right? Now if you expand this, you get r times cos alpha cos theta minus r times uh, sin alpha sin theta, right? Now r cos alpha is x and r sin alpha is y. So replacing that, what you get here is uh, x of cos theta minus y of sin theta, right? So, so you get a formula where you can find the x coordinate value of your point. So this p dash image x coordinate, I'm writing like this. Similarly, I could write the y coordinate value using r sine theta, right? So that would be r sine theta means sine alpha plus theta. That total angle is alpha plus theta now, correct? So that should be r times sine alpha cos theta plus r times cos alpha sine theta, correct? Now in this case, as you know, r cos theta, r uh, cos alpha, and r sin alpha are x and y values. So r sin alpha is the y value. So we'll say y cos theta plus x sin theta. So that becomes the, the y coordinate of your rotation, correct? So we are going to use this particular formula to find our points, perfect? So I hope that concept is clear to you. So basically, we need to find cos theta and sin theta values, plug it in and get our answer. In our case, we know theta is equals to minus 150 degrees. So that is, we are in quadrant 3, correct? And in quadrant 3, both sine and cosine are negative. So, so for this, we know what is cos of minus 150 degrees. It is same as minus cos of 30 degrees, right? And uh, what is sine of minus 150 degrees. It is same as sine of 30 degrees with a negative sign, right? So we can get these values from our special triangle 30, 60, 90. Let me just sketch it here. Okay. So if we have this 30 degrees, then the sides are 1, 2, and square root 3. So for cos of 30 degrees, we get square root 3 over 2. So it's with a negative sign. So I'll write negative square root 3 over 2. For sine, 30 degrees, it is half. So we'll write this as minus half. I'm just squeezing in since we are working with very small space. Now we know all this, correct? Now let's use our convention and find the, the x and y coordinates for point A first, right? So, so A dash, A dash will be what? So for A dash x value, the x coordinate, this is the x coordinate for A, I'll use this particular formula, x cos theta minus y sine theta, right? So, x cos theta minus y sine theta, correct? Now, in our case, for A coordinates, points are at minus 2 and 4. So, we know the value of cos theta and, uh, I mean, x and y minus y, which are minus 2 and 4. So, for x, I'll write minus 2. Now, cos theta is minus square root 3 over 2. So, we'll write this as minus square root 3 over 2 minus the y value is 4 for A, right? So, it is 4 and sine theta is minus half, correct? So, that gives you, when you simplify this, 2 and 2 cancel, minus minus becomes plus. So, we get square root 3 and here 2 divides 2 times becomes plus. So, we get plus 2. Do you get an idea? So we get the value of the x coordinate of A as square root 3 plus 2. Now let's find the y coordinate of A, the image of A, right? So the formula which we derived just now was y cos of theta plus x of sine theta, correct? Now substituting y and x values which are 4 and minus 2, so we'll write 4 and minus 2 here. Then substituting cos theta and sine theta, cos theta is minus square root 3 over 2 and sine theta is minus half. We get the y coordinate value, so it is 
negative 2 square root 3 and that becomes positive 1 right so we get our image of a so a dash basically will be the x coordinate value of square root 3 plus 2 and the y will be I could write 1 minus 2 square root 3 right so so that is the coordinates for a so I hope the steps are absolutely clear right you can actually pause the video now and then work out for B so I've purposely taken two points so that you could do your math and then check with your solution right okay so I hope you are you're on the track now let's find the image for B right so B dash X value let's calculate that well the formula is same which is X cos theta minus Y sine theta and for B we know what the point was given to us right so for B the point was 6 and 2 right so I replace X with 6 Y with 2 right 6 and this with 2 so there's minus sign here okay and cos theta is minus square root 3 by 2 and sine theta is minus half right clear so when you do your math so 2 divides 3 times so you get minus 3 square root 3 here and this divides even and you get plus 1 now let's find the y coordinates for the point B, right? Formula again will be for y coordinates y cos theta plus x sine theta. Perfect. Now let's substitute the values and get our answer. Y first, right? So 2 and 6. So 2 and plus 6. The x coordinate uh, cos theta will be minus square root 3 over 2, right? So we have to multiply this. And this we have to multiply by minus half. Okay. Correct. So that gives you 2 divides evenly with 2. And you get minus square root 3 here. And here you get uh, 3 times minus 1 as minus 3. Right. So you get minus square root 3 and minus 3 for this particular point. Right. So, so I hope that is correct. Okay. Anyway, you can check your calculations. So we get the image of B dash as the X coordinate. Let me write this as 1 minus 3 square root 3. And the Y coordinate is negative of 3, negative of square root 3. Perfect. So that is how you can find the coordinates. And you have also seen that if you have negative angle, it means rotation is clockwise. Perfect. Well, I've shifted the page a bit, something, some portion was not visible. Now, I hope you can see the complete solution. I'd like you to go through the solution. If something is not understandable, please put it in the comments. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Share my videos with your friends. Thank you and all the best.